Which board is better? What is the right board for your child? This is a common question that comes in. So in this session, we would understand the benefits of the international boards and we would understand the difference between IGCSE and IB board. To begin with, both of these boards are good if the students are targeting for higher education outside India. Also, over the last few years, in the last 7 to 8 years, we have seen nearly 45% increase in the number of international boards in India. This has been mainly in the regions of Maharashtra, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu as some of the major states. To begin with, both these boards are learner-centered. They partner with research institutes, with universities abroad and therefore give a huge lot of exposure to the student. At the same time, numerous quizzes are organized and it brings in a global perspective. For example, in ICCSE, there is a course on global perspective which helps you understand uh, the critically the global phenomena across the world. Similarly, when there is world literature, you develop a appreciation for literature across the globe. So those are some of the ways we refine ourselves and we understand that these quotes actually help us in a much more better way. If we are targeting more towards uh, uh, language, both these boards have English as the basic medium of instruction. Definitely of all the boards if we talk about including CBSC, ICSC, uh, IGCSC or Cambridge board we can say is uh, one of the toughest boards. Now IB is International Baraculate. Now this is being organized with its headquarters in Geneva. It does not have its prescribed textbooks but yes has a list of recommended te textbooks. However with Cambridge you have the prescribed te textbooks as well as the recommended list of reading. Both of these boards are internationally recognized. In India there are very few schools which cater to it. The schools are expensive and more mainly in metropolitans or bigger cities. Better infrastructure is present in both the schools and students who are targeting either for foreign uh, education, foreign higher education or if their parents are planning to move for a uh, job into another nation, they usually prefer IGCSE or IB board because that helps in maintaining continuity later on. You don't have to switch the boards. In case of IB, there are three stages which is the primary up from KG to class 5, then is the middle from class 6 to class 10 and then is the IB diploma which is 11th and 12th. However, in case of Cambridge, it's again uh, understanding that there is Cambridge primary 5 to 11 years, Cambridge secondary 1, secondary 2 and then there is AS and A level which now would be A level itself. Uh, both of these are operational in India but definitely ICCSE or Cambridge board the number is much more higher. In IB there are 6 groups. So you have to pick one subject from each group and then you are assessed on three core things. What are those? It is creativity, action service, extended essay and theory of knowledge. So those are the three parameters on which you are judged. There are quizzes, essay, assignments, portfolios. So it's a kind of year-round assessment that continuously runs through. Similarly is the case with Cambridge where you have a rigorous um, specialized curriculum which uh, helps a student to uh, get refined themselves especially in languages. Now uh, what is very very important is in the Cambridge for IGCSE which is equivalent to your 10, uh, 70 subjects are present. You have a combination to choose so you, you, you are open to choose any number of subjects from that, those lists. However, uh, from IB, as we mentioned, there are six different groups. You have to select the uh, text from each of those groups. Now, if we focus on what are the merits, if we talk about in terms of Cambridge over IB, I can say uh, for Cambridge, uh, it is much more structured curriculum. IB does not provide structured curriculum. IB is the least structured curriculum because both just gives the principle, then the implementation and the pedagogy has to be decided by the individual schools. Even finding IB teachers is strenuous uh, because the curriculum is totally different. 
IB requires you to take science and maths. However, humanities and management work extremely good with Cambridge. If you are planning for higher studies in UK, definitely Cambridge is a perfect option. Uh, IB schools are relatively more expensive as compared to other schools. And then in IGCSE, uh, the relative uh, availability of teachers as compared to IB schools in India are higher. For IB, students are uh, assessed on three uh, three basic categories that we already talked but also the skills which are tested are predominantly thinking research communication self management and social skills that makes it sure that there is conceptual understanding and applicative learning which is uh, not really the case with CBSE or ICSE board because there is memorization which is there also we understand that uh, with uh, Cambridge board and IB board, if you are trying to appear for competitive exams like NEET, JE, definitely those are not good boards or a good option at this stage and uh, those are the fundamental things that help us understand that Cambridge is one of the toughest board among these that we have discussed so far. So that was about the discussion that we have done. Uh, definitely selecting a board at the right age is important because later on if you are switching the board it becomes extremely tedious and strenuous job both for the student as well as the parent and uh, coping with the new curriculum coping with the new syllabus becomes extremely difficult so this was just an introductory perspective definitely we would be covering another class where we will be discussing uh, a comparison between national and international boards uh, we have covered the material for international boards on exam test prep for national boards on flexiprep.com so stay tuned for further updates from our side have a wonderful day